Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Uh, today I am going to teach car rental system using ASP.NET part 2 tutorial. In our last tutorial, we discussed about the car part and customer part. In this class, I am going to teach the rental part. Right? First, what I am going to do is here. First, I am going to go to the database. I am going to create, I have already created two tables, uh, car registration and customers. Uh, we done in our last tutorial. Those who are not watch my last tutorial, please watch and come this tutorial, right? Now I am going to go to create the new table, right? Select the table folder, right click, new table. Here I am going to specify the column names, first ID, data type should be int with auto increment, set primary key, select this uh, data type, okay, go here and select as a auto increment. I in the specification is I in the yes. Second one should be cast ID. So you write cast ID here. Uh, sorry, car ID. It's not cat ID, car ID. This one should be the car ID. Uh, car ID should be watcher. Third one should be customer ID. Cast ID. Cast ID should be int and uh, fee rental fee int and uh, s date s date mean uh, this one should be s date right starting date that here we have to select this one as a date this one date after that end date edit right. right these are the cards available in the rental part right so click here and we have to uh, name it as rental. This one should be rental. This table should be rental. Right. Click OK. Perfect. Right. Now let's select the table and right click and refresh it. Right. Your rental table has been created successfully. Now let's go to the, your project. Go to the model. Right click. Uh, here you have to go to the add. Here you have to go, uh, sorry, go to the ED uh, model, this one, EDMX, double click on this one. So, right. You already have two tables, car registration and uh, customer table. Now I am going to go to add another table, right? So what I am going to do is here, right click, you have to select update model from database, right? Here you have to, your newly created uh, table should be so here, right? Here this one should be the newly created table. You, easy, you, you easily, you have to import that into your project, right? Here it's newly created table should be added successfully here. So, so, right? Okay. Now let's, what I'm going to do is here. After that, I'm going to create a, your model created successfully here. This one model created successfully. After create the model, you have to uh, go to the build, rebuild solution. Right, it is build it. Right, it's build it. Right, you have to wait the, until it's build. Right, it's build. It's build successfully. You can check here. Right. Okay. Now let's right click and validate. This one also you have to wait. Okay. After that, what I'm going here, you can check the tables. Right, it is coming successfully rendered. Right. Now here I'm going to go to create another controller. Select the controller folder. Right click, add controller. This controller I am going to select as empty controller. Uh, add here I am going to select a rental. rental. Right, this one should be the empty controller. Right, so rent. It's a rent. You just click a rent. Okay, okay. First letter should be capital. This is the efficient way to create a controller. Click that. Right, your controller has been created successfully. Rent controller intersection action method here. Now I'm going to create the view. So select the intersection action method. Right click, add view. Uh, this is an empty view. Click that. Right. Now your view, view. This one should be the view. Right here. Inside the view folder, your rent folder. This is a view. Right. Only index. This one, right. Now here, what I'm going to do is here. We don't need this one. We simply we have right here. Uh, we have simply right here. 
uh, form design we have write this form design so we have write here div we have write div class row right row we have write here after that we have write the form design right form right so we have write using uh, html begin form dot begin form right here we have write uh, we have write here is a uh, controller name we have write the controller name here uh, index action method we have write save this one should be save comma here we have to the controller name i am going to write here is rent it's a controller name rent right okay this is a right comma uh, form post form method post so you have write form method dot post comma new so write here new id equal so write a pop up pop up form right this is the thing here right now here we have right uh, open bracket and place but inside here we have create the form right this is the uh, when you click the save button it goes to the controller which is a rent controller uh, save action method right we have created this uh, action method later on on the controller now here we have to design the form first uh, first do so write do this one should be the do you have to write registration okay you have to write simply you have to write uh, this one should be car rent car rent this one should be car rent Right, first is I right after that you have right dev uh, class you have right simply you have right another div you have right put another div simply no need right that div you have right here another div you have right here is class you have right here is uh, inside here you have right uh, div class div class class you have right form group form group this one should be a form group you have right here first one label this should be label uh, label you have right label class form label form label right form label you have right form label right form label now here we have right itself this one should be a car number first one should be the car number car number after that what i am going to do is here uh, say uh, you have to write the drop down list car number you have to select from the drop down right you have to load from the database and uh, load into drop down right so you write here form controller id car number car number after that uh, name car number uh, your placeholder equal car number this field is required right that's the thing we have right uh, after that we have, what i am going to do is see we have to write the option we have to write the option uh, we have to write here select preset Now what I am going to do is here, uh, I am going to the same thing, you have to write here the same thing, you have to put it here, the same thing, you have to write these things, you have to write, uh, simply you have to write the, this thing, right. we no need this one, intentionally you have to write, no need, control C copy, control V paste, second view, this one should be there, our uh, second one should be here, this one should be there, customer id customer id this one should be uh, we no need the selection one select drop down we have simply we have to write this one as a uh, this one we have uh, input input text input text input type text text here we have write id sorry not here id cast id after that uh, name cast id class 
class we have tried this one to the uh, boost tap form control right after that you, if you need a paste order you can give here paste order control see this one the same thing control seat copy control this paste order here right here is custom plus type plus type right okay. so right this is the thing we have right this the same view here copy control seat copy control we paste here uh, third one should be customer name right if you enter the customer id customer name should be displayed on the text box right we will do the do, do using ajax right uh, this one should be custom okay this one custom name right cost name that's the we have to write here uh, after that uh, we have to write the another stuff is here same thing kind of here copy control with paste here uh, fee rental fee this one should be the rental fee rental fee this one should be rental fee right here also same thing the control c to copy control with paste here rental fee right here we have to write rental fee rental fee right so now same thing control c to copy control v to paste below uh, here we have right uh, third one should be there uh, here rental fee you have right your fee simply you have right fee instead of writing rental fee you just write uh, here fee right so after, after that what i'm going to do is here final one should be the start date and end date so the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here here right. this one should be the start date start date this one should be the end date right s date s date the same thing control c copy here control v the same thing e date same thing control c copy control v the right 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 so final one we have to do is here the this one is a uh, button so here let's go here we have to control c to copy control v to paste here here we have to this one we no need that here we have to write here is a button so we have to write input type submit value save class btn 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 default you can give any name right that few click success this is the button right now let's check how the form design look like right we have check. very simple uh, let's save all uh, let's make the link for that uh, so how to make the link I already explained this one go to the layout here we gave three links so we have to control C to copy the same thing control V to paste here okay this one should be the what is uh, your controller name rent controller index action method right rent controller index action method right rent controller index action method right control C to copy control V to paste right now let's see Now here rent if you click rent here your nice form design will be here like right? a very really simple nice form design here very simple nice form design you will be able to see here. very simple form design here you can it look like nice right perfect right car, car name customer id car, all the stuff are there now first what i'm going to do is here first i'm going to load all the car numbers right go let's back to our database uh, select all these are the these only i have only one car uh, here we have to load it right after that we have to enter the customer id identify the customer we, uh, which customer you are going to yeah, rent the car here starting date end date here we have to select it starting date end date uh, let's stop it go to the index here we have to instead of the text we have to select as date this one also date now let's get the date 
calendar right you can choose the date from the date calendar very simple stuff right uh, after that what i'm going to do is here uh, table stuff we will uh, discuss later on right table stuff right so here right, we will discuss about later on the table stuff right now what i'm going to do is here after that we have to do the ajax part right we will do the ajax part as well so uh, first what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to go to the this one we have to load the uh, we have to load the uh, car now so let's go go here like right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write the jquery stuff for loading the car number so uh, first what i'm going to do is here i'm going to drag the uh, jquery library okay so uh, if you are not downloaded go to the project right click uh, this one manage this one packages here we have to search jquery right here select the jquery library i have already installed if you are not, if you are not installed here there is a button called install you click on install that right if you install that after that you have to install the jquery validation button here also the install install button there you have to install that too right after install that you can get it the script folder right this is inside the script folder all the relevant uh, js file should be there right so first we have to get this one jquery this one right jquery this one we have to select and drag it here select and uh, drag it here. before that what i am going to do is here before that we have right here uh, we have write simply section section simply we have write section scripts scripts we have right here ok in right? case now here we have to import here right so simply we have to select and import this one the all this is see it is automatically select the path uh, all the stuff here uh entity framework right select this one and validate j validate js this one also we need it, right that's the thing we have to do right that's the only thing we have to do after that what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to uh, load the car so let's so let's do the function right function function get car Otherwise, you can uh, uh, write here load car or get car. Right? Okay. I'm going to get the cars, right? We have to write the ajax. So, ajax, we have to write uh, dot ajax. Right. We have to write here. Right. Now, here we have to write the ajax function. Inside the ajax function, we have to uh, provide the ur. Okay, we have to provide the ur. Right? So, here we have to write, uh, we have to write here is right here the simple here we didn't script and write script that's it control dot x to cut off control paste right perfect now here we have right here is uh this is script right here ajax first we have to specify the uh, type this one should be that get type should be get so right type should be get so you have right get after that url you are specify the url uh, you have to write url url specify the url you have to write here is uh, which content you are visit rent controller uh, get car this is the action method get car right we have create later on the controller right after that date data uh, type data type json json Data type JSON, come on. Data type JSON. Right. So. That here is right. After that, uh, we have to write su Ajax success function. Success function data. Stop right here open and close bracket right now here we have to load it right now first we have to go to the controller and create it right so first what i am going to do is here uh, we have to go to the controller right we have to go to the uh, we have to go to the rent rent uh, car rent this uh, this one uh, rent controller this is a rent controller we have to create the get car action method 
right now what i'm going to see we have to this is the entities right super car entities we have to first we have to this entity control c to copy we have to go to the rent controller we have to paste it table right control v to paste it here uh, after that we have to write db equal here you have to add the model right this model right the same uh, thing we have to write new create the object uh, Control C copy, control V You have to create a DB object of the database condition, right? DB object, right? Now what I'm going to see here, here we have to first we have to load the cars. So we have to do here simply here, right? Uh, the method we have to use it HTTP get HTTP get method. We have to use it. Very simple, right? We have to write public action result action result get car right after that what i'm going to see we have to uh, load the cars so what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to write here what's the problem is here json we have to write json type right that's why it's uh, show the error we have to write, uh, write later on so here we have to write here first you have to ya, uh, you create the variable var this one should be car equal db dot car uh, registers this is the table we have to load the cars right we have lots of all the cars here right dot to list you have to call the method to list you have to load the cars right to list you have to call the method to to list right after that what i am going to see here we have to write return json you have to write here car comma json request behavior dot hello get right that's the thing we have to write okay when the here here when you send the action this is this one should be the controller index action method should be sorry action method should be get car it goes to the controller is searching the this method right it's loading all the stuff and passing the json so it's goes coming here right so here we have to load the cars. So here we have to load the car, right? So let's do it out of loading. So you have to write the for loop, right? So you have to write for first you have to write console.log whether it's coming or not. Console.log you have to write data. Right. Okay, we have to check whether it's working or not. First we have to uh, coming the inside the success functions uh, success or not, let's check, right? So score run the run it and check it right here right click impact console uh, nothing will be there right what's the problem right. okay let's check we have all the stuff you have to call it and check right here we have right another stuff is all right sorry the problem is what is the problem is that this get car method control c to copy we have to paste above when the form is loaded this function should be loaded that's the problem that's why it's it's uh, coming as a blank right this function we are called right when the form is loaded right here we have to write here for loop for we have to write a var to get the variable i equal zero i data dot length i plus plus now here we have right uh, car number right this one should be control c to copy control v to paste car number Got a car number dot append you have right here dollar symbol you have right here uh, you have right here option like option you have right here comma you have right here here we have right 
text talk right here is data i dot car number car number you have to get it car number means car number what is the name you are given here this one rental sorry uh, this car registration car number the same name you have to give here then only it's load and load and put it here right this is the that's the thing very simple you have tried it okay very simple right now let's check whether it's working fine or not right uh, let's try it save all why it's not working right click impact console the thing is the uh, rent get car the ma the problem is here the problem is here the it's not working the rent rent is a uh, action method get car the same thing here control c to copy here to here go to the rent car But the problem is, I think the, I think the, the problem is the name problem, right? Now let's try it. Right. Right here it's working fine, right? Now it's working here. Car number should be displayed successfully. Right click, impact. Here it's working successfully. All the stuff should be displayed. Here, what happen is, I this here I have uh, the car number uh, car, get car mean here I have put into the capital letter. That's why it's won't load, right? What is the controller name here? You are given the same controller name you have to load here. Here, what is the, this uh, rent controller action method? The same action method you have to give here. Then only it's loaded, right? Okay, that's the thing you have to write here. After that, what I am going to do is here, I am going to load the customer things, right? Customer things we have to load, right? So, first, what I am going to do is here, uh, you have to write here, go to the rent, this one. Here, we have to write second one should be the customer things we have to write. So, we have to write second one should be the custom right the same function i'm just copy it and also copy cannot be paste below right we don't need this one we have to inside the success function we have to remove it right now here first we have right here is uh, we have right here uh, we enter the customer id relevant customer name should be displayed on this text box right customer name text box right or just select the car number enter the customer id customer name should be selected here right so how to do the validation Right. So here uh, we have right here is uh, we have right uh, first we have right a key function here. A key function. Let's remove um, um, all stuff. Right. This one should be like get custom customer custom. Right. Here we have right. Uh, first we have right a key up. Right. So we have right. Uh, we have right like this. Cast ID, Cast ID, Cast ID means this Cast ID name, this text box name Cast ID, right? This is a uh, right Cast ID, right Cast ID, Cast ID dot key up, key up. Here we have write function E, E. Here we write here is uh, function E. Here we write open and close bracket. Uh, we have right here. Uh, simply, we have right here. Uh, we have right the ajax function. We have right inside here. We have right the ajax function. Right inside the key. Right. So ajax function, we have to call this one. The same ajax function, we have to control copy, control C to copy, control V to paste here. Huh? Right. Now let's this one all the stuff keep. Only the for loop we know need that we have to remove this stuff. Now here was first what I am going to do is here inside the ajax function when the customer enter the customer id so we have right rent uh, rent actually uh, uh, rent controller it's called the rent controller 
get ID. This get ID means customer ID. We have to get a customer ID here. We have to write the uh, action method get ID there. We have to create it here ID. Which ID we have to pass? We have to go to the ID. But what is the ID? We have to enter on that text box. So equal. We have to write here uh, the same thing. Right? The same thing. We have to control C to copy. We have to write here plus. Dot well right. So, right. Right. Now what I am going to do is here uh, the, What is the customer ID type here It is put into this variable uh, This variable goes to that function right? This is the argument right? There it goes to right? So how to get uh, How to receive the, uh, receive the uh, Thing is It goes to the rent Controller, we have to write the same things right here as we have to write the same thing, right? So let's copy this one, control C copy. This one get this time post. Get the value one, it's post. It's get the value, it's get the value and post it, right? So here what is the value we are getting here? So ID. So int ID. Here what is you are given is the same name you have to receive retrieve here. Get ID. Get the ID. This one should be what is the name of the this get ID, here okay, also get ID, get ID, right, here we have to change it as a get ID, get ID, so get ID, right, now here what I am going to do is here, uh, we have to write here, get ID, here simply we have to uh, write it here as uh, var, we have to write this one should be customer, customer, var customer equal, var customer equal, we have to write the query. So we have to write from, from s in this lambda expression we have to write, okay, db dot customers, db dot customers, customers, this is a da uh, database, uh, where we have to, where, uh, what is the s, this means should be s dot id customer id equals id but this id are coming here right so it's load the data right select you have to the select statement yes we have to load the customer name on the customer name the customer that's the thing you have to dot to list you have to write to list you have to write to list to list you have to write to list that's the thing we have to write okay the same thing you have to customer control seed copy control with paste you have to paste it right that's it simple okay now let's go to the index this one inside here you have to get, get the value and pass it here as well. right so how to do the task is here we are simply have right here is uh, we have to pass it where results should be display on the customer name this one so here what i'm going to do is here the same thing we have to copy the same thing here control c to copy sorry this one control c to copy control v to paste here cast name uh, what is the name you have to cast name uh, cast name same you have to write cast name here you have to cast name you have to pass it here you have, you have to write here data what is the data you are coming here it's passing here. right after that what i am going to do is we have to check whether all the stuff are correct are here we have to this one we no need the space here right we have to remove the extra face uh, here you have to this function we have to call it control c to copy control v to paste right when the customer enter the id on the text box relevant it goes to the uh, act, uh, controller rent controller get id action method along with the id right so here we uh, we, we have retrieved the data from here customer name uh, here cast name here name uh, here id also wrong control c to copy the same thing here to be paste right cast id right this this text box, uh, the result should be passed, right? Okay, the result should be passed on cast name, right? ID goes to the rent controller, get ID, this ID is coming, this ID is coming to here, and it's check. Okay, we are close, we have to check. We have to pass in the cast name to this controller, customer controller, sorry. This is here, right? Okay, now let's check uh, everything perfect or not. 
Now here the here we, we no need a space. We have to remove the space, right? If 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 they ask the space is found work, they have to remove the space. This one we have to call it. This method control C copy control V paste. We have to call it. Now we have to check the cast name. When you type the customer ID, relevant customer, uh, this one, this one is cast name, and here ID also we have to change. Control C to copy, control V to paste cast name. Right. So that's the thing we have to do. Uh, now everything should be fine. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Right. Now let's check uh, everything fine. Right. Now let's check. Right. Here the another thing is we have to use this method as post. That's the thing we have right. Post. Method as post. Right. Now let's check. The post the data. Right. Here I have post the uh, which which one cast id we are posting so that we have to write a post method right now here we have to load first is a uh, number that's a problem get id the problem rent get id one get id one Right here we have to write this one here, so we have to put it here. This one we have to put it there. Right now let's check. Right here it's working now. Right, it's working now. You enter the uh, customer ID one here. Eleven customer name also. This space successfully. But the problem is here we have to. This is all the controller. So we have to pass this one. Right, you have to pass this one. Same thing you have to do here as well. That's the thing. Right, you have to pass. The simple one, you have to try it. Right, very simple code. This is a very simple code you have to write. Right, uh, it it's goes to the uh, rent controller method should be get ID. Here, rent controller get ID. What is the ID coming here? Relevant result should be passing. Right, if you enter the ID one, relevant name should be passing. That's the simple stuff it did. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here after that here what I'm going to do is here. Uh, we have to check first, right? If the car is available or not, right? Here this one, right? Uh, when you select the car number here, first of all we have to check whether the car is available or not. If the car is available only, uh, this all the uh, text boxes would be enabled, right? If the car is not available, it also disable, right? Once you rent, once you book the car here, once it fill all the details here, click save, the car is not available, right? The, uh, okay, so let's do the task, right? First you have to check whether the car is available or not, right? So first what I'm going to do is here, here we have to write the validation, right? Here, when the form is loaded, get car function should be loaded, right? So here we have to first we have when the form is loaded, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to write the function load. Right. Here first we have to disable all the text boxes. Only enable this car number uh, drop down list only. Others all the stuff we need to disable. Right. Okay. If the car is available only it's available. Right. So what I'm going to do is we have to write here. Uh, not right. Cast ID. Cast ID. ID dot attribute dot right here is disabled comma this one should be enabled control C to copy control V to paste right. here we have to write what I am going to write here we have to write the remaining stuff control C to copy control to paste this one cast name after that s date after that same thing control seat copy control it basically this one to edit right. this again we have to write now let's this function we have to call it control seat copy control v paste it. right that's the thing we have to write now let's run the project and check right 
here when the form is loaded here the we we write wrote two times uh, rental fee just close it we have to remove, remove one right now let's check here if the car is available only it's enabled so we have to do the validation part, right you can't do anything else okay if the car is available only we have to do it okay. now let's the database right this is the car station once you book the car the availability become as a no right so what i'm going to do is here just close the program now we have to do the remaining validation part here now here what I'm going to do is here uh, I'm going to here if I select the car these are the these are we have load the cars so here car selector item if the car is available or not if you select the car number if the car is available or not we can get the details here right this car is if it is yes you uh, if the if the available is yes you will be order the car otherwise if it is no you can't able to order the car so here we simply write here as this function control read copy control read paste here dot change we have write function function we have write here is Here we have to write here is available. We have to create the function available here. Available. Right. So the same function we have to create below. Function available. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. So write here. Open and close bracket. Now here we have right here the same Ajax code you have to copy and paste it here. The same Ajax code, right? The same thing, right here, the same thing. Right, the same thing you have to copy here, correct? Ajax code. Ajax is starting here, close it here. Same thing, can see the copy, can read paste here. We have to change that, right? Here we have to change this one also post. Uh, we have to here this one we, we, uh, get available. So we have to write a b i a simply you have that availability you have to create the uh, action method later uh, this one should be car number you have such a car number so you have right simply you have to create the variable car number here right car number here also car number the text box name which is a car number same thing control seat copy control to. what is the car number you have selected it is put into this variable and goes to the uh, this and index action method uh, sorry this uh, action method inside the rent controller so go to the rent controller now right here we have to make the method okay we have to make the method here so how to make the method here we have to write okay we have to write here is first we have to write the same thing post the same post method the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here here this one here the same what you, what you are here wrote here the same function control c to copy control v to paste here same function copy and paste it other then only you will be able to the same function you have what the function you are wrote here the same function right here car number that one should be the car number car number it is a string car number is a data type string okay here string it's a data type string i put it here so that you have to write here it's not in the string and it has string some string here string one string here this car number right now here we have to write a code for that uh, and here we have to write a code here as something like that uh, this one we have to we know here we have right here is var uh, car available evl car available AV. I, I just write the function equal we have to check from sorry from uh, s uh, s in db dot uh, car registration where s 
dot car number equal this car number so uh, this car number right s dot this car number right car number right we are checked from the car registration table right uh, get the id what is id coming here right what is a relevant record we have to uh, display so right select is available right here dot that right that right here to list that's the thing you have same thing you have right but you are the same thing you have right here uh, what is the problem this car number right the car number you no need this one right the writer so. right no no right now it's working right okay now what i'm going to do is here the same thing control c to copy control v to paste this this uh, object we are sending to which form uh, this uh, this index right so here Okay, sending the car number, right? If the thing is success, uh, what happens here? If the thing is success, uh, back to our index page here. This index page, we have to write here is, uh, we have to test here as, control, we have to remove it, console click lock, here, right? Now we have to write here is, uh, var, we have to create the variable avl equal data this data we have to equal it what's the data you are coming here you have to equal it here right you have to simply right what's the data coming here simply you have to write here this here. instead of that you have to write this this one simply you have to write this one what's the data you are coming here it passing to this variable uh, now what i am going to do is we have to write if avl we have to check the if the avl available uh, available here we have set it the available here is available uh, uh, double equal yes the result is come yes what happen is what happens here let's check whether it's working fine or not right this is how we have to check right rent uh, right transfer we have to check whether it's working fine or not then only we have to do the stuff remaining stuff rent Check, right click, console, yes, here it's coming, result is fine, yes. This is a console, result is coming fine. Console, right, here this data is coming, press yes, it's passing to disable, it's correctly, if the result is yes, what happens is, we are receivable all the text boxes. So what I'm going to do is here, you have to write else part here, right, if it's not, it is else, right, so you have to write here, the same text box, this one, all the stuff control c to copy else part we have to put right this uh, else mean if it is not yes it is all the stuff should be disabled so you have to write here the same thing con the same thing you have to uh, copy this one sorry uh, you have to copy this one control c to copy control v to pc here we have to change it as remove at dot uh, remove at you have to remove it remove at attribute disable disable right okay now same thing control c to copy control v to paste disable same thing right now what i'm going to do is here now let's run and run the project and check Now here now let's check if the car is available here it's working fine this because this car is available if this come yes shall it come yes it's all things are visible right i hope you understand stuff in the registration stuff here if you uh, enter the correct uh, customer id is coming here enter the rent, uh, rental fee and select the start and end date click save record should be saved into the database table and we, after that we can able to view the data into the table here uh, those stuff we will be discussing in my next tutorial 
इफ यू लाइक माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब मी लाइक मी थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग